wakati Mungu alianza kunisaidia kuelewa the grace of building alianza na kunisaidia kupitia kitabu cha Nehemaya nilipoangalia Nehemaya chapter 6 the whole book of Nehemiah but if you look at Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 14 utaona ya kwamba katikati ya upinzani Nehemiah aliweza kujenga remember Tobiah and Sanbarat oh my god because of what they have done remember also the prophetess Noadia and the less of the prophets who have been trying to intimidate me the bible says no wonder the uh, 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 after the opposition because of his faith in God, the Bible says in verse 15, so the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days. And the Bible says, when all our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. That became my lemma word in my life concerning building that God is not just a healer he can help us to build kwa sababu alimsaidia Nehemiah kufanya nini kujenga katika hiyo hali ngumu ya kwamba jamii hazisimami zinaanguka bado unaweza kusimamisha jamii bado unaweza kusimamisha biashara hata kama kuna um, apostasy Ah, katika wakati huu kuna kurudi nyuma kwa wengi bado unaweza kujenga huduma ambayo itamletea bwana utukufu katika kizazi chetu praise the name of the living god nitamtegemea huyu mungu ambaye ni mchenzi anijenge na anisaidie kujenga bwana asifiwe sana tulianza na kusoma chapter 1 maybe i can summarize in 3 minutes niseme chapter 1 inaongea vile nehemaya Aliletewa walipoti ya ukuta na ndugu yake Hanani. Na wakati aliletewa lipoti ile yeye aliichukua kwa uzito. Yaani he identified a need. Kwa hivyo kujenga huwa kuna anza by identifying a need. We are not wired the same. Kuna hali utaona na we uone ni kawaida. Lakini mimi nikija pale nianze kulia paka unaniuliza ninalia kwa nini kumbe mimi nime identify a need ambayo wewe haukuona praise the name of the living god na sometimes unaweza kushangaa kwani watu wengine hawaoni we are not wired the same Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 we are god workmanship created in christ jesus to do good works that were prepared in advance for us uh, uh, to do praise the name of the living god so all of us, we are wired for something. And so you need to identify your need, your area that God is calling you to build. Maybe you are the deliverer of the family, although you are not the eldest. Maybe you are your older brother, your older sister, hawana mziga wa jami. Lakini we uko na uchungu. Unaona there is a need. Unaona there are evil patterns. Unaona there is stagnation. Tafadhali kujenga kuna anza kuona ni. Number two, tukaona ya kwamba, when Nehemiah identified the need, he did not identify the need with despair, but he identified the need with faith in God. Unajua kuna hali unaweza kuyangalia takama ukona mzio, useme, ai, inaka angumu. Inaka, you know, hii ripoti ya narete wanaambiwa unajua hii ukuta, Kutoko wakati ilibomolewa, miaka miyamoja imeisha, ata Ezra walikuja, wakajaribu kujenga, wakati walianza kukaharibika, hata wakaandikiwa mbarua na mfalme, na wakaambiwa waache kabisa. Ungeangalia hali kama hile kama neemaya na useme, ai, hapa inaonekana ni ngumu. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendwa, kuna hali ambazo mungu ametuitia tujenge, Lakini lazima tuziangalie kwa imani. Lazima tuwe kama Daudi wakati alipo muangalia mufiristi Golian alisema na kusiwe na mtu yoyote ambaye atakata tamaa kwa sababu ya huyu mufiristi. Kutikage na mudogo kuwa goro tode ya ha. Daudi alisema niko hapa sasa. Na ni jeshi ya naambia. Na ni mfanme ya naambia. Na wote wamekata tamaa kwa sababu ya ile hali 
praise the name of the living God. Lazima kuwe na watu ambao wataweka imani yao ndani ya Mungu. The Bible says uh, them that shall know their God. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits. May that be your portion uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I will not look my, at my situation uh, with despair and discouragement. I will look at my area of building uh, with faith in God. And I will put my trust uh, in him. Praise the name of the living God. Na hapo hapo, Nehemiah akaanza kuomba. Na kumuamini mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Na wakati alianza kuomba, akaanza kutubu dhambi zake. Huh? Because we build fast in the spirit. We know that things begin in the spirit before they are manifested in the physical. You must become a spiritual builder. Praise the name of the living God. Lazima kwanza ujue nitajengaje hii jambo ambalo nataka kufanya in the physical. Nitalishughulikiaje kwanza? katika ulimwengu wa kiroho ili niweze kuona manifestation in the physical Nehemiah akaanza na toba yake ye mwenyewe akatubu kwa sababu ya dhambi za nyumba ya baba yake na wana wa Israeli akasema Mungu ni mimi tumekutenda haya yote Nehemiah akaendelea akatambua ahadi za Mungu ya kwamba wewe Mungu ulituambia tukikuasi utatufukuza katika inchi na utatupeleka mbali lakini tukitubu na tukikurudia hata kama tuko mwisho wa dunia utatulejesha lazima kuwe kuna mtu anaelewa neno anaelewa ahadi za Mungu because the promises of God are, are yes are, and amen we are not going to build blindly praise the name of the living God we are building with the word of God because this word the bible says in the book of acts chapter 20 and verse 32 that it is able to build you up this word of grace now i commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified praise the name of the living god we must allow the word of god uh, to dwell uh, in us literally jina la bwana lipewe sifa hallelujah sasa unaweza kuangalia hicho kitabu chapter 1 kuna mambo mengi pale wacha niende chapter 2 kwa sababu ya wakati we have about 20 scriptures ambazo ziko chapter 2 nehemiah chapter 2 verse 1 um to know now how can i rise this is my part two message on how to rise as a builder in the month of uh, nisan uh, that is a, nisan is a month of uh, march april uh, amechukua kutoka wakati alisikia habari mpaka wakati huu miezi kama ine imepita karibu miezi tano amekuwa katika hali ya kuomba na kumwamini mungu in the month of nisan uh, in the 20th year of uh, a taxes uh, king attacks says uh, when wine was brought for him um, i took the wine and gave it to the king i had not been sad in the presence before the bible says uh, so the king asked me why does your face look so sad when you are not ill this can be nothing but the sadness of the heart i was very much afraid but i said to the king May the king live forever. Why should my fa- face not be sad when the city where my fathers are buried uh, rise in ruins uh, and its gates uh, have been destroyed uh, by fire? The king said to me, "What is it you want?" Then I prayed to the God of heaven. And I answered the king, "If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in his sight, Let him send me to the city in Judah where my fathers are buried so I can do what I can rebuild it praise the name of the living God then the king with the queen sitting beside him asked me how long will your journey take and when will you get back it pleased the king to send me so I set a time I also say to him if it pleases the king may I have letters uh, to the governors of Trans Euphrates uh, so that they will provide me with a safe conduct until I arrive in Judah 
And may I have a letter to Asaph, keeper of the king's forest. So he will give me Tiba to make beams for the gates of the citadel by the temple and for the city. Because the gracious hand of my God was upon me, the king granted my request. Praise the name of the living God. Hapa tunaona katika safari ya kujenga ya Nehemiah number 1 hata kama yeye mwenyewe hakuwa na shida moyo wake ulikuwa na huzuni Praise the name of the living God Haikuwa ni shida yake ya kibinafsi when he identified the need Ile shida ambayo aliona ilikuwa inafanya moyo wake unakuwa na huzuni Wapendwa wakati Mungu amekupatia mzigo katika eneo fulani la kujenga wakati mwingine utakuwa unaangalia ile hali wewe unalia machozi wewe unasikia uko na huzuni Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Wewe unaangalia ile hali tofauti na watu wengine Jina Bwana ipewe sifa Hallelujah Kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho unaona kinapaswa kufanya. Na kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba mtu yeyote ambaye ako na mzigo wa kujenga eneo fulani, eneo lile huwa wakati mwingine linafanya chakula inakosa radha. Hata kama chakula iko. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu ya mzigo ambao uko nao wa kujenga katika eneo fulani Na niposa kuna watu kufunga hauhitaji kusukumwa because already hata unapoambiwa tufunge ni nafasi unatafuta unauliza ni nani naweza kushikana na wao wakati wa mfungo kwa sababu tiali kuna mzigo uko nao unajua inawezekana wakati huu tunao so Nehemiah akawa pale na akawa ako na huzuni jambo la pili Nehemiah did he planned carefully. You know some believers or some of us as believers we don't plan. Nikukaa tunaona tunasema ni kwa imani. Imani haimaanishi ya kwamba hauna plan. Nehemiah planned carefully. That is why hata wakati alipoulizwa na mfalme ni nini ambayo utakayo hitaji Unajua wengine tukitokewa na Mungu kama Solomon wakati wa maombi Mungu akuulize ni nini Nimesikia maombi yako Nimepokea dhabihu yako ni nini Wengine tunasema uh, 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 wengine utaanza hata kutafuta na ni wewe umekuwa ukiomba But ni vizuri kujua exactly what you need to execute your mandate planning is godly the bible says i know the plans i have for you one of the attributes of divine nature is planning god is a planner and in fact god can has has a plan already for thousands of years he declares the end from the beginning. God has already done his strategic plan. Praise the name of the living God. Kama sisi katika hii ministry tuko na strategic plan ya 2030. We have a road map. Ya ya kwenda mpaka 2030. Na tumeweka mambo yale tutakayohitaji ili tuweze kufika pale. Idi ata tunapo omba, we are not naive. We know what it will take. Praise the name of the living God. You must know what it will take for you to build. To this honor, Luke chapter 14 and verse 28. Yesu mwenyewe ya risema, atakae kujenga, akae chini. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost? To see if he has enough money to complete it. Kuangalia. Itanigalimu nini. Ili niweze kujenga. Kiri ambacho nacho taka kujenga. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Watu wengine huwa wanataka mambo kujenga. 
lakini hawahesabu gharama wana mpango ni nini wanayohitaji hata ile kazi ifanyike lakini Nehemia alipoenda mbele ya mfalme hata alipoambiwa muda ambao atakao hitaji alikuwa anajua he did not resign completely from being the cup bearer bwana asifuwe sana Nehemia aliuliza unpaid leave kasema mimi hata kama sitakuwa na mshahara praise the name of the living god muzigo nilio nao nikiona umetimia ni kama nimepata mabilioni ya pesa jina la bwana lipewe sifa na akaendelea akamwambia mfalme ningependa niandikiwe barua ili nikubaliwe kukata miti katika msitu wa mfalme na nipatiwe usarama wa kusafiri kwa sababu alikuwa anachukua miezi kusafiri praise the name of the living god haleluya hakukuwa na ndege wakati huo so nehemia alijua exactly anahitaji nini ndio aweze kujenga ndio huwa tunasema fanya spiritual diagnosis angalia hali yako elewa uzito wake Watu wengine wanavunjika moyo, wanasema tumeomba na bado Mungu hajatenda. Ni kwa sababu haukuhesabu gharama vizuri. Lile jambo unalo litafuta halitachukua mfungo mmoja. Halitachukua mwezi mmoja, wala pengine halitachukua mwaka mmoja. Ni safari ndefu na lazima wawe na uvimilivu na kuelewa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. You must know what it takes for you to build what you have identified as a need. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Baadaye tukaona ya kwamba wakati alipoenda bere ya mfalme, the Bible says his requests were granted. Praise the name of the living God. He received a supply from the king. Hallelujah. Nehemiah hakuwa yeye mwenyewe ako na uwezo wa kibinafsi wa kwenda kujenga ukuta. Alitegemea the supply that will come from the king. But it had to come from the king of kings. Praise the name of the living God. Fast. Because hata wakati alipatiwa alisema it is because a gracious hand of God was upon me that is why i received the divine favor praise the name of the living god the bible says in the book of second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5 second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5 the bible says our sufficiency is not in us but our sufficiency is in god not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves but our competence come from god new king james version same verse know that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything of being from ourselves but our sufficiency is from god wapendwa nyakati tunazoishi najua hata kuna wakati wanasikia apostle anaongea juu ya building wanasema kwani apostle ajui uchumi vile uko mimi naongea sufficiency ambayo inatokana na Mungu. Sio ile inatokana na Central Bank. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wataweza ku... unajua katika maombi ya Nehemia kuna mahali yaliguza. So Nehemia began to build in the spirit. Na kuna mahali yaliguza. Cyrus aliambiwa I'll give you treasures hidden in dark places I'll go before you and I'll break the gates of bronze and I'll shatter the bars of iron 
praise the name of the living God. And I'll give you treasures uh, hidden uh, in dark places. Uh, praise the name of the living God. Uh, that is my God. Uh, he is able to supply. Paul said, uh, I can do all things uh, through Christ uh, who gives me strength. Uh, praise the name of the living God. Uh, our sufficiency as builders, as kingdom builders, is not in ourselves. Kama nina jenga kulingana na uwezo wangu. Nataka ni kuambie mambo yale ni nafikiria, ni napaswa ni design kuyafikiria. Kwa sababu kulingana na uwezo wangu, hiyo ni kama ndoto. Ikombali sana. Praise the name of the living God. Hata kulingana na uwezo wa kanisa hili. Bwana asifuwe sana. Lakini najua ya kwamba, kwa njia moja ama ile nyingine, Mungu atatengeneza njia. Haleluya. Najua Bwana atatengeneza njia. Atatengeneza njia kwa ajili yangu. Ninamwamini. Najua Bwana atatengeneza njia. Atatengeneza njia kwa ajili yangu siyo kama wewe unajua ya kwamba bwana ako na uwezo wa kutengeneza njia kwa ajili yako achilia imani yako ndani ya Mungu praise the name of the living god haleluya lazima kwanza ujue ya kwamba hauwezi wewe mwenyewe Unless kile unajenga kinatoshana na mshahara wako. Unless kile unajenga kinatoshana na masomo yako. Unless kile ki, ki, unajenga kinatoshana na kule umetoka. Ha? uko na watu unaangalia wa jamii wa kufanyia fundraising. Lakini mi naongea juu ya kingdom builders. Watu watajenga mambo ya ufalme yatakayo mletea bwana utukufu watu watakao badisha narratives praise the name of the living god watabadilisha narratives za jamii watabadilisha narratives za, za miji watabadilisha narratives za mataifa kwa sababu ya kile watakachojenga hao watu lazima wawe ni watu wanaguza kwanza katika ulimwengu wa roho I always give a testimony wakati tulikuwa tunajenga hii cathedral. Nilitoka hata mahali nilikuwa naishi tukakuja hapa na jamii yangu tukakaa miezi sita na nikawa ninaomba ninaomba mpaka nilipomaliza mwezi wa sita Mungu akaniambia sasa anza kujenga nyumba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na hatukuwa na pesa kwa account. Haleluya. Lakini Mungu akaniambia anza kuje kwa sababu baada ya miezi sita kuna mahali umeguza na mfalme wa wafalme amekubali kuachilia kile unachohitaji kujenga niliona Mungu anaamuru watu sio wa kanisa hili mtu anaambiwa na sauti na Mungu perekea apostle Kimani hiyo pesa anajenga nyumba yangu praise the name of the living god uh, Nehemiah received uh, the supply of the king may you receive the supply of the king of kings uh, the supply of the lord of lords uh, si uguze mahali katika ulimwengu wa roho katika maombi yako na Mungu aseme nitakupatia utajiri uliofichwa mahali pagiza nitakupatia neema mkono wangu wa neema utakuwa yako praise the name of the living god it was by favor and grace praise the name of the living god nehemiah hakujenga na bank account alijenga kwa kibali na kwa neema ya mungu akaweza kujenga may that be your portion in the name of jesus oh my father my father Help me Lord in the name of Jesus. My sufficiency is in you. Rekabaganda bazanda baganda baboshanda in the mighty name of Jesus. Twendele mstari wa 9. Mstari wa 9 second chapter of Nehemiah verse 9. Inaendelea kutuonyesha vile Nehemiah alivyoweza kujenga. So I went to the governors of the Transeuphrates and gave them the letters king's letters the king had also sent army officers 
and Calvary with me. When Sanbarat, the Horonite, and Tobiah the Ammonite, official, heard about this, they were very much disturbed that someone had come to promote the welfare of the Israelites. Hallelujah. Kupinzani si umeanza. Unajua na hii ningetaka watu wengi washike because if you are going to be a builder, a kingdom builder, lazima wewe ni mtu ambaye you are not surprised by opposition. Nehemiah was not surprised by opposition. Praise the name of the living God. You know so many people nimeona watu wengi in this kingdom wakijaribu kufanya kitu cha kiungu na kujaribu kuinuka especially wamenenewa na Mungu na wanaona Mungu wako pamoja na wao wakiona upinzani wanaanza kushangaa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwani hauko unatarajia Ningependa ujue wakati wowote unataka kufanya jambo kubwa lazima kuwe na upinzani Praise the name of the living God An opposition is supposed to feed your resolve and your faith Upinzani ni chakula ya kwamba nimeamua Praise the name of the living God Upinzani ni chakula cha imani yako unasema hata kama kuna upinzani nitamwamini Jehova na atanipatia ushindi katika hii hali hey don't be surprised by opposition it doesn't matter where the opposition is coming from praise the name of the living god hallelujah if you want to accomplish anything worthwhile in this life you are going to accomplish it through sacrifice praise the name of the living god hallelujah you are going to accomplish it through suffering and if you are not ready for struggle and sacrifice and even suffering don't try bana sifasana mimi naweza kuambia kwamba building is not easy. Usema ati nataka kufungua kampuni. Oh, nitaandika watu 500. Wewe we, afadhali ukae tu hapo unangojea mshahara mwisho wa mwezi. Unajua kungojea mshahara hakunanga kazi. Kazi yako ni kuingia kazi saa mbili, unatoka saa kumi na moja na kuomba tu off na kuimba masaa ya boss na mwisho wa mwezi unafika. Ah? Bwana siwe sana. Mwisho wa mwezi unafika, unapokea mshahara? Eh, kazi yako ni kuangalianga tu masaa. Ah. Lakini mwenye hiyo kampuni jina bwana ipewe sifa. Naweza ingia hapa mapema na nitoke hapa usiku. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Sina masaa. Lakini kuna watu they are careful with time. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unafika mwisho wa mwezi. Wewe unapoangalia kama akaunti yako imeingia pesa. Mwenye kampuni kazi yake ni kusema hii pesa yote ya kulipa watu itatoka wapi? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Ni vizuri kufurahia huduma kama hii kubwa. Lakini huduma kama hii tukifika mwisho wa mwezi na kubushwa posto HR anitumia payroll mamilioni ya pesa inataikana kwa account lipa watu. So usiona kama ni kushagiria hapa na kufurahia. Ti aposa si hata angenifuatia nafasi nifurahie pale kidogo. We, Nimekusalimia. <laughs> kama hujakuja hapa kufurahia, kuja nikupatie payroll mwisho wa mwezi tusaidiane. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. There are sacrifices to be made. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Build us. Building is not for the weak. Praise the name of the living God. Kujenga sio kwa watu wanyonge. Sio kwa watu wadhaifu. 
Si hata nyinyi wengine mmejenga kanyumba ya three bedroom, four bedroom. Si unaona vile kalikukipiza? Hmm? Paka unaenda msarani, ukifika huko ndio unasikia kuna kitu mpaka unashindwa sasa. What, what is happening with my life? <laughs> yeah? Yaani mpaka system yako ya mwili inakuwa confused kidogo. <laughs> Inaregister vitu ambazo haziko. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Ni vile unapigua simu na madeni ya hardware wenye simiti, wenye mchanga, wenye mawe, wenye bao, mafundi wote. Bwana asiwe sana. Paka unasema afadhali singeanza kujenga. Building is for the strong. Praise the name of the living God. Kama utakuwa na biashara yako, building is for the strong. Praise the name of the living God. Kama utabadilisha hiyo jamii, building is for the strong. There will be opposition. Sometimes my people itafanya uinukiwe uwe victimized. Wewe ndio unaleta msaada lakini unageukwa. Praise the name of the living God. Bi inasema wakati Nehemiah aliamua kujenga, kuna watu hawakufurahia. The Old Testament is physical, the new is spiritual. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Wakati unaamua ya kwamba nitaleta mabadiliko kwa hii jamii, kwa huu muji, kwa hili taifa, lazima ujue ya kwamba kuna ngome, kuna maroho yanataka watu waishi kwa shida, kwa aibu. Praise the name of the living God. So hata wakati unasema Bwana nitumie nilete uponyaji wako kwa watu walio na kansa kuna mapepo inasema Bwana unataka kuachilia mateka wetu na tunafurahia wakati wanalia na jamii zinateseka Praise the name of the living God In fact upinzani wakati tu aliamua ninaenda kujenga ndio upinzani uliinuka There are things una decide Okay decide mpaka unasikia anga yako imebadilika. Praise the name of the living God. Unasikia warfare. Ha? Katika anga yako. Ha? Mimi nakumbuka ndiyo nifunge mara ya kwanza siku 21. It was in the year 1995. It is because I received a spiritual attack. And this spiritual attack ni mapepo ilikuwa inaniambia wewe usipoachana na hii injili unahubiri. Ha? Tutakuwa. Shetani alikuwa amenionea 18, alinionea mbali. Akaona huyu ile laini anataka kushika. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na mimi nika, mimi sikuwa nimechukua serious ile ile kazi ni ile kuhubiri nilikuwa nahubiri. Nikasema guy. Dai kuwake, nime, nimekufa nini? Sasa hapa nikasema ni aidha niwache ama ni maanishe kabisa. Na mimi nikasema ninajua niko na kipawa na nimeitwa na Mungu sitawacha kuhubiri praise the name of the living God nikaenda Karura siku 21 nikamlilia Mungu nikamwambia Jehova nipe neema the good thing Nehemiah alikuwa ameanza na maombi sasa sisi wengine tunaanzanga na vitu ha? so hata wakati upinzani ulikuja Nehemiah was ready alikuwa anasema bring it on come be come nikuonyeshe vile Mungu wangu huwa anafanya mambo ndiposa tunaanza mwaka na maombi tunabomoa vitu vyote ambavyo vimewekwa mbele zetu katika mwaka mzima vizuizi vya kila aina tunalipua na mabomu ya kiroho tunategua kila aina ya mitego mibaya tunajihami na nguvu za Mungu na tunasema tunaendelea kujenga katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa sababu tuko na kibali na neema ya Bwana iko juu ya maisha yetu Thank you.